Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-usapan naman natin yung scientific notations at mga significant digits. Ang science at algebra, magkakonektado yan at ikokonekt natin yung ilan sa mga lessons nyo sa natural science, biology, or even chemistry. Yung pagsulat natin mga scientific notations para magrepresent ng mga numerical values sa mga real life situations. So ang number or ang scientific notation, ito yung mga numbers occurring in science are often extremely large such as the distance from Earth to the Sun, which is 93,000 miles or 93 million, 93 million miles <laughs> or extremely small, which is the wavelength of blue light, which is approximately 0 0.000000475 000 miles. So ito yung ating uh, mga numerical values na ginagamit natin sa mga natural occurrence sa ating mundo at pwede natin itong i-represent Nang mas maliit, parang mga acronyms, meron din tayong parang mga acronyms sa mathematics or sa numerical values. Kaya gagamitin natin yung mga numbers or mga scientific notations na yan to represent our number that is extremely large or extremely small. So because of the difficulty of working with many zeros, scientists often express each numbers with exponents using the scientific notation. So ito yung ating template or format sa pagsulat ng ating mga scientific notation. Mapapansin natin yung a times 10 raised to n wherein yung ating a is a number between 1 and 10. So hindi pwedeng mag-exceed at hindi rin pwedeng lumiit between those values. At yung ating n is any integers. It could be a positive number or a negative number. Hindi siya pwedeng fractions or rational numbers. So yan yung ating scientific notation format or notation or formula na gagamitin for today. At lagi yung tandaan that a number in scientific notation is always re written with the decimal point after the first non-zero digit and then multiplied by the appropriate power of 10. So, papansin natin mamaya na yung ating mga scientific notation, it's always going to be something point something or a number point something times 10 to whatever exponent we are using for that representations. So, how are we going to convert a number to its scientific notation? So, unang-una, Position the decimal point. So, yung uh, pag-position natin ng decimal point, pag-uusapan natin yan, papakita natin mamaya sa ating example. Step 2, determine the num numeral for the exponent. Ito ba ay positive exponent? Ito ba ay negative exponent? Kailan siya positive at kailan siya negative? And step 3, determine the signs for the exponent at ito yung mag na notify sa atin kung yung ating value ay sobrang liit or sobrang laki depende sa sign ng ating exponent. So ito yung ating tatlong mga decimal values at i-convert natin siya into our scientific notation. And remember, we are using this notation to represent numbers na mas madaling i-manipulate at i-compute rather than dealing with a bunch of zeros na pwede naman nating daglatin or paliitin depende sa ating abbreviation or yung tinatawag natin sa mathematics na scientific notation. So let's start with the first one. So 0 0.057 or 0 0.0571. So ang ating gagawin lang is to move our decimal places to the nearest numerical value. So, 1, 2. So, ito yan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 5.71. According to the formula, our format should be a times 10 to the n. Nakuha na natin yung value ng a which is between 1 and 10. 5.71 times 10 to the exponent. At yung exponent na yan will be determined by how many times you moved your decimal places para ma-reach C5. And we did that one, two, two times. So this is going to be 5.71 times 10 to the 2. However, since our movement is from here 
papunta dito sa right, ang ating magiging value ay negative. So, ang ating final answer would be 5.71 times 10 to the negative 2 dahil alam natin na si 0.0571 ay maliit na number dahil less than 1. So, ang ating number or ang ating exponent would be a negative exponent. So, gawin natin yan kay problem number 2. Problem number 2, we have... 2, 1, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, meron tayong 21, I believe 21 billion or 21 tri tri um, trillion, 140, or 2 billion, 140 million. At sa ating mga fact checker, please let me know kung tama yung bigkas ko dito sa ating number na napakalaki na ito. So, paliliitin natin siya. So, ang gagawin natin, from the last digit, which is here, ito yung ating decimal uh, placement, bilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 2.140 times 10 to the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine times tayong nag-move to the left. And when we move to the left, our sign will remain positive because we know that this number right here in scientific notation is a very big number. Kaya ang exponent natin ay positive. At ito naman, maliit na number dahil siya ay decimal, kaya naging negative yung ating exponent. And with that in mind... Yung ating value for letter C would be, so negative 0 0.123462. So, place natin yung ating decimal value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.2. At since negative yung ating value, wag niyong kalimutang ilagay si negative sign dito sa ating digit or sa ating A times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times tayong nag-move papunta dito sa direction na ito, kaya ito ay negative. At ito ngayon, yung ating mga scientific notation gamit yung ating rule on how to convert number to its scientific form. So, meron tayong 5.71 times 10 to the negative 2, 2.14 times 10 to the 9, and negative 6.2 times 10 to the negative 5. And remember, if your exponent is negative, that means your number is really small. And if it's positive, your number is really big. So, let's do it the other way around because in mathematics, if we learn to do something, we also need to learn how to undo things. So, ito yung iya undo natin. We have numbers on scientific notation and we're going to rewrite them according to its actual value tulad ng ating mga nakasanayang format. So, let's start with letter A. Burahin na natin to. So, gagawin lang natin. Meron tayong 8.7 times 10 to the 5th power. So, 8.7. Ibig sabihin yan, positive. Lalaki yung ating number. So, we will move our decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five times, and we will add one, two, three, four. So that means yung ating value is eight seven zero eight hundred and seventy thousand para dito sa value natin sa ating first scientific notation. So remember, when your exponent is positive, the number is going to be a big number, and if it's negative, like problem letter B, let's see kung maliit na number nga siya. So meron tayong three point 28 times 10 to the negative 6. So that means from 3.28, we will move our decimal number or decimal value 6 units papunta naman sa left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you stop. And then dun sa ating mga uh, curves, dagdagan natin ang 0. So, ang ating value ngayon would be 0.12345. Three, three, which is a really small number dahil negative yung ating value. So, 
Nagkamali ata, nagkabaliktad, pasensya na. So, yung ating letter B, nakuha yung sagot ni letter C. Pero tingnan natin kung paano natin i-change si negative 9 times 10 to the negative 4 into that number. So, bloopers na naman ang ating presentation. But anyhow, let's do negative 9 times 10 to the negative 4 and let's change it into its actual value or actual number. So, we have 9. Dito yung ating decimal dahil ito ay whole number and negative siya. So that means we're going to move it to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times. So we have 1, 2, 3. So meron tayo ngayong 0. 0, 0.0009. At since siya ay negative, we, it will remain negative similar to this one. So we have 0 0.0009 which is parehas nung ating number dito at to check our value dun sa letter B na napunta kay letter C ang ating value would be 0 0.0000038 at tama ang ating number na nakuha mula dun sa ating converted value at yan Yan kung paano tayo nagko-convert ng mga scientific notations from scientific to its standard notation and from standard notation to the scientific notation. At paano naman kung kailangan natin mag-manipulate ng mga scientific notation tulad nito? So we're going to be multiplying and dividing numbers on scientific notation tulad ng 3 times 10 to the 5th power and 3 times 10 to the negative 2 power. So to be able to answer this, Gamitin natin yung ating whiteboard. At kung meron tayong 3 times 10 to the 5th power multiplied by 5 times 10 to the negative 2 power. Positive pala to, hindi negative. So, paano natin to imo-multiply? So, just like multiplying um, algebraic expressions, multiply natin yung ating mga numerical value. So, yung numerical coefficient is 3 times 15. At yung ating mga exponent ay multiply natin. And when we add exponent, I mean, when we multiply exponents, we add the power. So, that means we're going to have times 10 to the 5 minus 2. And 3 times 5, not 15. 3 times 5, dahil ito si 3, ito si 5, so we have 15 times 10, and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So ito yung ating magiging value, 15 times 10 to the 3. However, since we want it on scientific notation, we can still simplify 15 to into, into its scientific form. And how are we going to do that? By moving our decimal value, 15 point to here, so we'll have 1.5 times 10 to the 1. Dahil isang beses lang natin siya minove. At multiply pa rin natin si 10 to the 3rd power. And we will have this instead. So ang ating product would be 1.5 times 10 to the positive 4. So ito ngayon yung ating scientific notation when we multiplied 3 times 10 to the 5th, and 5 times 10 to the negative 2. And let's see if tama ang ating sagot dito sa expression na ito. So we'll have 3 times 5, multiply the numerical coefficient, and then perform your operations on your exponents. And when we are multiplying with exponents, we add our powers. So we have 15 times 10 to the 3, and we we converted 15 into its scientific notation form, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 1. And now we can add 1 and 3, which is our exponent of 10. And we'll have 1.5 times 10 to the 4. And if we need to convert it into its standard notation, it will equal to 15,000, which is the same value as what we got from here. So naging 15,000 siya dahil uh, 4 units. Going here, so we'll have 1.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, so we'll have 15, 1, 2, 3, kaya siya naging 15,000. So yan yung ating multiplication of scientific notation. How about if we are going to be dividing values similar to this one? So same rule applies. We're going to be performing the numerical operation for our numerical coefficient and then perform the law of exponents for our scientific or for our power of 10. So let's simplify this. 
So we'll have 4.8 times 10 to the 2 all over 2.4 times 10 to the fifth power. And what we're going to do is divide 4.8 and 2.4, and we're going to perform our exponent rule or law of exponents for powers of 10. And what we're going to do, if we added when we multiplied exponents, when we multiply exponents, when we are dividing exponents, we're going to subtract them. So we'll have 2 minus 5, and 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. So that means 10 over 2, I mean 10 raised to 2 times 10 raised to the fifth power is 10 raised to the negative 3 power. All we need to do is to multiply, I mean divide 4.8 and 2.4, and we know that 4.8, mas madali natin siyang madidivide, since parehas naman siya ng decimal places, by converting it into 48 and 24. And now we will simplify the fraction, and we know that there's 4 12s in 48, 4 times 12 is 48, and there's 2 12s in 24. And by doing so, we cancel the 12s, and we are left with 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. So that means yung ating value na ito, 4.8, divided by 2.4 is equal to 2. So our scientific notation would be 2 times 10 to the negative 3. And we're able to compute this and write in the scientific notation using this rule. And if we want to change it into its standard form, so 2, 3 to the left, point right here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, so that means this is a small number, so this is approximately equal to 0 0.002 as its standard form for our quotient. So yan yung acting um, rule for dividing numbers on scientific notation. We separated the numerical coefficient with our power of tens, and we perform our um, usual rule for division or dividing, and we're able to produce 2 times 10 to the negative 3, which is the same as our answer right there, and we can convert it into its standard form of 0 0.002. Kaya, ang ating number bender challenge of the day is for you to convert this into its scientific and standard form. Comment it down below. So let's see if we can find the product of 5.71 times 10 to the negative 2 and 2.14 times 10 to the positive 9 using our lesson for today. At yan ang ating math kwentuhan on our algebra lesson, specifically on scientific notation. And remember, we're working on scientific notation so that we can simplify or abbreviate or make our extremely large number an extremely large extremely small number into a numerical notation na pwede natin manipulate easily using mathematical operation this is dr e and see you again next time bye